Hello guys, and welcome back to another video. Um, Before I get into it, I'm just going to tell you guys, uh, please like and subscribe. We are so close to 200 subscribers. Um, It's really awesome to see that we're actually gaining subscribers. And yeah, just please do it. It means a lot. Okay, let's get right into it. So, today I'm going to be just cutting to the chase, no lollygagging. I'm just going to tell you guys the difference between a linear and tactile keyboard switch represented on a graph. This is this is very unprofessional. I mean, I'm on Google Slides and all that, and I'm using a, like, Screencastify, but that's okay, because this is just a really simple topic to cover. So, um, basically, there's two types of keyboard switches. Well, three, actually, but clicky is just a whole other story. That's just, like, a loud click, basically. Um, so linear and tactile are, I'd say, like, two main switches. Like, clicky would fall under the category of tactile, maybe, but, like, I don't want to confuse you. So we have linear and tactile switches. So they work differently, and they feel different when you're typing, you're gaming, you're just pressing them. So a linear keyboard switch would look like this on a graph. Um... Basically, it's going to require, it's going to be like an even amount of uh, feel when you press it down. There's not going to be like any bumps or anything. Once you press down the key, it's going to require the same amount of force. Just keep pressing down. So like if this is the start of the press and this is the end of the press, it's just going to be an even press. It's going to go up straight and it's going to, there's not going to be any like disrupt, like this weird, any no bumps, no clicks in the, in the press. Um, a tactile switch, however, would look a lot more like this. Uh, I'm going to have to go into like this but it, it looks something like this you're going up and then this might happen you're gonna get like a little bit of this and then this so um basically you're at the start of your click you're going up and at this point you're gonna be pressing but the key's not gonna press down yet however at here you're gonna have to overcome some type of obstacle now obstacle makes it sound like you're gonna have to like try and like use all of your mu your, your like the muscles in your arm to press down but, like obstacle think of it on like a really minor scale like it's normally like a click so if you're pressing down nothing's really gonna happen you're not gonna actually like get any response from the key and then at this point when you press um you're gonna need to require a bit more force but it's gonna go down after so it's not gonna be a smooth press like i said like the linear would go straight just be a smooth press but this it's gonna require a bit of um a force and you're gonna feel like you're gonna feel when it clicks um i'd say for gaming linear would be better because you can press down the keys a lot faster and it's gonna be a lot easier for gaming because you know you need to you know be fast and alert when you're gaming for typing tactile is probably gonna be better because um if you had linear keys since they don't really require any like i said a little event or bump um you might accidentally press down other keys because they're so easy to press. But with tactile switches, um, it's they're not that hard to press. I mean, they sorry, they are hard to press, and it's kind of hard if you're focusing on the G key. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to do that bump on both of the keys because most of your force is going to be on the G key, meaning you're probably only going to activate the G key. Um, this is a really simple video, um, straightforward. I hope it helped you guys in any way. If I, I mean. Yeah. Just remember to like and subscribe because we are almost at 200. And thank you guys for watching. Have a, well, at this time, great holidays. But yeah. Bye.